Good morning, my students. Today we'll learn about the violin. And as we know the last session, that the violin is one of the big family of strings instruments. And before we play the violin, we should know what the violin consists of. In the beginning, as we see here, that the violin consists of two main parts, the bow and the violin. This is the bow. We'll start to know what is the pieces of the bow. The bow consists of three pieces here. This is the bow stick. It's a wood bow stick. And here the horse hair and the machine. And this is the nail. Before we start to play the violin, we should make the horse hair stretch. How we can do this by moving this nail to the right, as it here, we can find the stretch, okay, and then we play. Then when we finish, we have to move the nail to the left, as we see here, it's flexible. Then we can put it back in the bag. Again, the the bow consists of three parts. They are bow stick, horse hair, and the machine, and the nail. The next part here is the violin itself. The violin also it consists of three main parts. The first main part here is the skull, like the head, and the neck and the body, or we can call it sound box. The skull, it has four keys. One, two, three, four. Each key of the four keys are responsible to tune each string of the four strings. Well, they, those strings are called Sol, Re, La, and me. Sol, re, la, mi. Sol, re, la, mi. This key is responsible for sol string. This key is responsible for re string. This key is responsible for la string. And this key is responsible, responsible for mi string. This is the skull. Four keys. The next part here is the neck. And opposite to the, to the neck, we will see the black part here. It's called the fingerboard. It's called the fingerboard. The fingerboard is used to put our fingers and press on the strings to choose the notes in a specific place. Not any place. Each place gives us a different note from another place on the fingerboard. So we put our fingers on the fingerboard to choose the notes and change the notes with our fingers to play the melody we want to play. Well, also if we look here in the beginning of the fingerboard, we will find a little piece is a little bit higher than the fingerboard. It's called the nose, like the note here. The nose here is made to let the finger let the fingers press on the strings. How we can do this? By making the strings a little bit higher than the fingerboard. So when the string it vibrates, it never shock with the fingerboard. It's make it higher. The last piece here and the main piece here is the body and also we can say it as good as sound box. The sound box here we can see these two main holes. They are called F hole. They are called F hole because it's like F in Italian. These F holes are responsible to make the sounds 
we are out from the sound box. So the sound gets out from the F hole. So how can the sound goes inside the box? It goes inside the box by this part. It's called the bridge. It's called the bridge. The bridge, it takes the vibrates from strings and move it down to the sound box. And to know the sound box here is empty from inside. The vibrates comes inside the sound box and take the shape of the body and vibrates inside and then go out from the F holes. Then we hear the violin sounds. So the violin is important to be like this shape because this is a shape that is responsible to make the sound of the violin. Here is the piece, it's called tail piece. It's called tail piece. The tail piece here that we put the strings inside and make it locked here. And also we will find one, two, three, four. Four fine tuning keys. They are called fine tuning keys. The, 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 the four fine tuning keys here are responsible to make the strings tuned perfectly to the specific note that we want to know this. As we know that this is Sol, Re, La, Mi. These four keys are responsible to make the string nearer as we can to make it near to the notes we want to tune it. And we use these fine tuning keys to make it perfectly in the note. Okay? So those are keys and those are fine tuning keys. Here is the last one. It's called chin rest. The chin rest is used that we put our chin on the violin to hold it between our left shoulder and our chin like this. Notice that we never ever, we never use our hands to hold the violin but we hold it between our shoulder and our chin. And to make it easy, we use this piece. This is called shoulder rest. The shoulder rest, we put it in the back of the violin. It make it easy to hold it over our shoulder with our chin, like this. So easy to use. Okay, I never use my hand to hold the violin like this. But when I put my hand here, I put it to tune the notes just to press with our with our fingers, never to hold it with my hand. Now, how we can hold the violin bow? The violin bow is holding with our right hand. We have five fingers here. Hold the bow with our left hand. Let the hair down and the machine to the right. Then put your thumb here in this empty part in the beginning of the machine. And these two fingers together opposite to the thumb. So we have two fingers out here. This is the first one over the rubber piece here and the fourth finger or the last finger make it over the nail and be sure that it's not straight it's circled like this it makes the balance for the bow without this finger the bow is goes down we use this finger to balance the bow that it can be all the way controlled with our hand so, we hold the violin, our shoulder, put our chin rest like this. Then, we use the bow in the two ways, from up to down and from down to up. From up to down, we start from the machine, 
and down going bow and up going bow from the beginning of the tip here. So to use the violin bow on the violin itself we play it between the good between the bridge and the end of the this is the fingerboard so the bow is here in the medium of this space between the bridge and the fingerboard like this make sure it's all the way parallel to the bridge never be like this or like this all the way parallel like this and also be sure that we can't play like this this is a flexible hair we must make it sure that it's stretch like this okay like this we start to put it on the first string the saw string and goes down look parallel to the bridge again up never move it like this or like this or like this all the way here and try to make the same thing on the four strings so Never be tight, flexible. When we start from the machine, we make it flexible inside. When it goes down, it's turn, turn, turn to be up like this. So it's flexible by moving the bow up and down. Another thing you have to notice that the shoulder it mustn't be like this should be relaxed relax relax just moving the bow by moving your elbows never moving your shoulder okay so this is the first lesson about the violin and see you again thank you